Hello, you're welcome. How to solve this nice algebra equation? Solution from here. And what we have here, let's call this equation one. This as equation two. Then from equation one here, we make y the subject. This we take x to the other side, and we have y equals to 10 minus x. We can label this as equation three. And also from equation two, we have x times y equals to 10. Then we substitute equation 3 here. And this we have x times y, which is now 10 minus x, which is equals to 10 here. And from here, x open this bracket, and this becomes 10x minus x square equals to 10. And this here, we take 10 to the other side. To the left hand side, and we have 10x minus x square minus 10 equals to 0 here. From here, we rearrange this, and we have minus x square plus 10x minus 10 equals to 0 here. Then to remove this minus here, multiply this equation through by minus 1. That is here, yeah, this become plus x square, this become minus 10x, and this become plus 10, now equals to 0 here. At this here, yeah, we have a quadratic equation, where a equals to 1, b equals to minus 10, and c equals to 10. And from the quadratic formula, which is x equals to minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac over 2a, what we have here becomes x equals to minus minus 10 plus or minus square root of minus 10 squared minus 4 times 1 times 10 then all over 2 times 1 that is yeah this becomes x equals to minus times minus here we have plus as 10 then plus or minus square root of minus 10 square we have on range then minus 4 times 1 times 10 that's 40 then over so yeah, that is next step. This becomes x equals to 10 plus or minus square root of 100 minus 40. We have 60. Then over 2 here, and we can write 60 as 4 times 15. That is what we have becomes x equals to 10 plus or minus square root of 4 times 15 over 2 and this follows from where we have root a times b that we can separate as root a times root b at this here this becomes x equals to 10 plus or minus root 4 times root 15 all over 2 and next step we have x equals to 10 plus or minus root 4 that's 2 then root 15 all over 2 here and here 2 is comma up here we have x equals to 2 into bracket 5 plus or minus root 15 then over 2 here then here these two cancelled each other and we are left with x equals to 5 plus or minus root 15. At this here, we have two possible values of x. The first one, x1, we have 5 plus root 15. Or we have x2, which is 5 minus root 15. Then, to get the corresponding value of y here, we use the equation 3, which is y equals to 10 minus x. Then here, we have y1 will then be equals to 10 minus 
x1 which is two bracket 5 plus root 15 that is here minus open this bracket we have y1 equals to 10 minus 5 then minus root 15 that is this becomes y1 equals to 10 minus 5 that's 5 then minus root 15 that is we have the first set of solution x1 comma y1 now be written as x1 comma y1 equals to x1 which is 5 plus root 15 then comma y1 which is 5 minus root 15 then solving on this side as well we get the corresponding value of y2 using the same relation that this here y2 equals to 10 minus x2 which is into bracket 5 minus root 15 then here this becomes y2 equals to 10 minus 5 then plus root 15 and 10 minus 5 that's 5 we have y2 equals to 5 plus root 15 then also the second set of solution x2 y2 can write it out as x2 comma y2 then equals to 5 minus root 15 comma 5 plus root 15 these are the two possible solutions here when we look at this the value of x here is the value of y here the value of y here is the value of x here then we can check from what is given if this satisfies this given problem that this from equation one here we substitute the value of x and y that is we have x plus y equals to 10 and the value of x we can use the first solution here we have x as 5 plus root 15 and y as 5 minus root 15 and here you can say this is 5 plus root 15 plus 5 minus root 15 is this equals to 10 on this side then here root 15 minus root 15 this cancel each other and we are left with 5 plus 5 and is it equals to 10 here of course 5 plus 5 is 10 which is equals to 10 on this side left hand side is equals to the right hand side then we conclude that the first solution here satisfy this second this first equation also the second solution here will definitely satisfy now for the equation two as well which we have as x times y equals to 10 when we substitute x x is 5 plus root 15 then times y and that is 5 minus root 15 is this equals to 10 on this side then here this follows when we have a plus b into bracket then open bracket a minus b which we can write as a square minus b square that is from here we can write what we have a 5 square minus root 15 squared is it equals to 10 on this side and 5 square 5 times 5 that's 25 then minus yeah square cancel square root we have 15 is it equals to 10 here and 25 minus 15 of course that's 10 which is equals to 10 here that is the left hand side also equals to the right hand side and hence these two solutions here also satisfy the second equation and thank you for watching don't forget the steps subscribe for more videos and turn the notification bell on share this video give it a thumbs up and put your comments see you next class and bye for now